guys. Yeah, I'm carrying a little bit more kit than I usually do. I'm carrying, I'm carrying my coat in my backpack, new gas boiler, pots and pans, well, pans really, um, the MME, whatever, Wayland food pouch. And yeah, I'm carrying a bit more because last time I was out guarded, I'm carrying that sticky thing. That is a trowel, or I call it the poo stick. I'll show you when I put that thing up. So just in case, I need to go to the toilet. So yeah, so hopefully it would be a nice camp out. Some lovely B-rolls for you guys. Yeah, waterworks. Pump house, I think, or something like that. Purifies the water. Stop the eels coming up, something like that. But yeah, so once I get to site B, what may end a bit being B, A again, but I'll set up, show you what I do, and then you've got an idea. I'm, I'm hoping the ration pack I've got is quite tasty. I've got some pita bread just in case to go with it. It's chicken tikka. I mean, I'm not really impressed with it because it was all soft. No meaty chunks. You like meaty chunks. And it, it, if you don't have meaty chunks, it's just like, what's the point? So, yeah. So I've got meaty chunks. No meaty chunks in it. Got some pita bread so I can dip in it. Probably won't work because I'm going to do it for the jet boil to see what it's like. If I'm still hungry, I've got some more food. Got me other boil just in case. So, see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, this is site B. Quite nice. Now, oh, got the hammock set up straight away because I didn't know how far the trees are gonna be. So I just thought I'd test it out. I'll just get the hammock up in a minute and then we're ready. Well, the tarp, sorry. Cause I usually do the hammock, the tarp, then the hammock. I'll just put the hammock up to see what it's like. But yeah, that's the gap you've got to have because look, it's still a bit, I'll be sleeping up this end and I may have to lower that end down a little bit because it's, it's, it's as you can, could say, uh, quite nice like this. I could like, yeah, site B, brilliant. The only thing is I've got loads of sting in it, so I had to chop some of them down a bit so I could not get stunned if I get a little bit of night for I know you're not supposed to do that, but We'll grow back. Killing the wildlife right off. It's only stinging out. So, yeah, nice little spot. So, yeah, this is site B. I should put the top up in a minute. A diamond format, which gives you an idea. So, yeah, I wear my Marpat camouflage trousers today. So, you know when I'm stealth camping, I'm wearing this nut. So, yeah. I may have to adjust it a little bit so I'm not so woo, woo, woo. A bit of dab in there, but yeah, it's all right. I'll be getting my little ground sheet out so I can actually think. The only thing is my zip's this side. I may have to turn it around when I put the tarp up. But yeah, the wind's coming that way. So I'm gonna guess if I put the lean-to that way, so it's like, the lean to is like, like basically like that, isn't it? Yeah. So if I put it like that, this bit is going to make a sail. So I may have to do a pyramid, a diamond shape, so the wind comes over. So see you guys in a bit. Subscribe. There you go, guys. With the ground sheet. That's my tent peg bag, that is. Ground sheet, hammock. I'm going to put all my stuff over there. So it's all nice and dry, just in case it's going to rain, because it's gone on really dark. So I'm hopefully, I'm going to have good weather tonight, or bad weather test up this setup so so if it rains I'm not gonna get wet because the TP's done this TP 
the tops on such a such a way it'd be all right i mean the best so it's like that don't know why it doesn't want to stay up but the rain will just straight down i had to do it so it's that storm over that end through a tree because it just went all funny so i'm guessing i've got the wrong corners up but it's all about practice and like that As you see, it actually covers mostly the tarp, covers mostly these um, hammock and the track. I, changed, I had to change the carpinas, if you've noticed. I put blue ones on there because these ones have got little clips here. These, getting a bit worried they're going to catch, start cutting through the lashings. So I've done it like that. Right, guys. I start moving my stuff underneath the cover because I think it's going to rain. So, see you guys in a bit. Hi guys, welcome back. Why is it when you try and do something, everything goes wrong? That focus there. Everything you want to do goes go right, goes absolutely wrong. You know, it's just like. So this is the well, semi-diamond setup, ideal for hammocks, because you've got all this big space underneath. So I think I have to move it around that way a little bit, because right yeah. it's not, it's off a little bit. I've got to move it around, and that should be all right, hopefully. <laughs> but yeah, this is the our little setup. This is site B, everyone. I think it's, it's full of sting nails. As you probably notice, everything is going wrong in this one. It's just like I should have just carried on filming the wet one. Yeah, I went out in the rain a couple of weeks back in that bucket full of rain. It absolutely bucketed it down. So my tarp smells a bit of damp, woody. I quite like it actually, gives that fermented smell. But yeah, I think I need to move this round a bit. Because it's it's not properly sitting right. It's gone baggy. So if it does rain tonight, I'm gonna have little pockets of rain. But yeah, I think it's quite good. Quite like this little setup. It's touching my bottom. Yeah, so full of stinging nettles. That's the most annoying thing about this place. It's full of stinging nettles. Compared to other places, this is quite cool. I mean, hi guys. Hi guys. This is the, the food I've got. Wayfair chicken tikka. But as I said, the bit, there's some limp, lumpy bits of chicken in there. Not much. I'm not expecting it to be superbly, you know, gorgeous meal, but it's, it's, you know, it's, it's pay what you get and I should find out where it's nice later or not. <laughs> but yeah, you're supposed to like put it in your jet boil like that and put it in with water up to about there and boil it and then wait one minute and then eat it. But we'll see how good it is. I've got extra food just in case it's. But there you go. Hoping it'll be alright. But a little, got a new little boiler. Comes in a little box. I'm quite comfortable with that as well, actually. So you can use the little cylinder one, Bufane, as an adapter. And it's one of these ones. I quite like it because it's very foldable, but what my concern is the light is situation. What doesn't work? Could have got, you know, emergency stuff with me. But... So yeah, so that would go on the floor somehow. I don't know how I'm gonna do that, but I have brought my little chopping board with me, so I'm gonna place it on that. 
I've placed that on there, not, not bottom top. But. So my main concern is that things are loose on this and this goes on on the tank bit. So I'll give it a little bit of a test run tonight. Because you can't much do much on a jet boil, it just either sticks to the bottom and you end up trying to clean it off. I know you have to clean a pan off, but you know that it's a bit more better than this. No, jet boil, I think, is just like for emergency for. But got a bit dark now. I think it's going to rain. But that's my setup for the night. Not how I, how I really wanted it. I wanted it a diamond shape, so it was like that. But it's gone a bit funny after practice that one a bit more. Yeah, it's a lot of stinging nettles here. I've stung all my hair. I should have put my gloves on, but I just got half my fit. But yeah, so this is going to be my place for the night. And hopefully, it'll be a good camp. I've adjusted the hammock so it's all right. It zips this side, this side, not the other side, because that's what happened last time. I put it in the inside, not the outside. So I'm hoping I'm going to have a good night. You've noticed the, hat, the tarp has gone all the way up where most of the strap is, so I'm hoping I won't get that wet. But if the rain comes around that way, it comes straight in, then I'm going to get wet. But I'm hoping to put these down a bit. So, I've got to stop the rain a little bit. That's why I like about diamond with tarps. You can adjust it. If I could do it like that, and then it'll stop the rain coming in that way. And do the, end, the other side so it'll just hook round. So that's why I want to get used to doing it because I want to do some of this for the, for the winter. So, okay. right, I've had some questions from threads. People have asked me questions on threads really. Um, why do I do this? Just, yeah. well, relax, get out, enjoy life. I should have done this a lot earlier in my lifetime. But yeah, I enjoy it. It's nice, it's fun. Every every site's different for me. It's just that. that. There you go. Some other questions as well, I got told. Uh, what was your worst camps? And uh, I basically you know, said, um, my worst so far is up in Shankin. And that's when it got really worse there. So, apart from that, yeah. <laughs> See you guys in a bit. Right, moment of truth. <clears throat> whoop, whoop. Don't really want to waste the water, so I've got to leave it a minute. Just make myself another cup of coffee. <laughs> I was supposed to wait a minute, but I'm hungry. Well, um, well, tastes all right actually. I was expecting it to be a bit bland, but yeah, it's quite nice actually. Right guys, it's getting a bit dark now, having a bit of alcohol beverages, I've just had two, this is my second one, it's 
just to just relax really it's just you know I feel like i'm like you know some sort of like alcoholic camper <laughs> no i just it makes you relax more and you know it's quite nice relaxing i changed the tarp setup you probably noticed but yeah i quite like it like this anyway yeah so i'll see you guys in the morning where i'll make a coffee and pack all up you guys a bit morning peeps well wouldn't it did become bloody autumn cold like anything just making a coffee to warm up it feels freezing cold it's about half five in the morning had a bit of a nice drip sleep head in the middle of the night but yeah nice spot sheep I don't know where the sheep's coming from, but I heard sheep, cormorants, all the other lovely creatures of the night. So I'm just gonna have a coffee, then warm up a little bit, and then pack everything up. It just feels like it's autumn, straight away. It's really cold. But hey, -o. see you guys in a bit. You guys in the bed. Look at the uh, guys, leave no trace. Doesn't even look like I've been there. Look, that's on that tree there, and that tree there. It's weird because for the night. Because that's a long sapling, and the other one, it was doing this. <laughs> it was really weird. <laughs> but apart from that, yeah. So now it's all packed up, ready to go home. And that'll be it to my next video. So, see you guys next time.